Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM interview questions. In recent videos, you might have seen the various interview questions I listed. So in today's session, I will mention few more interview questions which have come across recently. I also captured some, in, uh, info, some Informatica provided interview questions which help us to understand the MDM system thoroughly. So let's start today's session. Let me start presentation. So the first question is, is it possible to run the load jobs for both parent base object and a child base object in parallel? So what does it mean? For example, if you consider your data model where you have the party as a parent and party address as a child. Then the question is, is it possible to run the both party and party address at the same time? And the answer to this question is no. We cannot run parent-based object and child-based object at the same time. However, if parent-based object has a multiple child-based objects, such as if parent party has address as a one child, and suppose identity another child then both the identity and the address can be run parallel however there is some restriction for that case as well so let's start with this so starting with mdm 9.7.1 parallel load jobs cannot be run for the child's present in the parents match path as a as because this is because if the parent uh, if childs are present as a match path in the parent, then we cannot run such child object in 9.7.1. This is because it is multi-threaded environment and MDM needs to complete, acquire completely lock on the parent table when child jobs run, provided the child, or child table present as a match path. Any performance degradation should be balanced by increasing the process server. Of course, which involves the most uh, number of threads and um, there will be no overall impact is expected if you use a multiple processor. But again, it is overhead on the hardware side. So this limitation has been removed in 9.7.1 hotfix 2 and MDM 10 hotfix 2. Now the MDM hub bad jobs can run in parallel on all child-based objects that are in match path of the parent base object. So that means if you have the parent as a party and child as party address and party identity and party address and party identity are present as a match path in the base object party, then in that case, both the party address and party identity can be done in parallel. The next uh, the example is here. If party base object has address base object and phone base object as its child, children, uh, then load jobs on the address base object and the phone base object can be done in parallel to reduce the total load time. However, there is a possibility that a parent record update from one child might get timed out when the same parent record is locked by another child. This is because of Dirty indicator will be updated whenever child record is updated. So make sure, um, so you may come across there are records got failed to process. This is because of the, instead of locking the table now, the record will be like get locked. So suppose one child is uh, loading and it is pointed to one parent, so it's parent ID 1. At the same time, if the record from the other, uh, phone table is also getting updated for the party number one then the, the hub uh, the dirty indicator from the base object have the impact and eventually that record get locked so we'll get few record but fail while processing child table at the same time so if you're planning to run the child table at the same time make sure you have this thing in, in place Next question is, 
how are large data clusters handled by a load job in MDM? Oh, this is very inter interesting question and normally uh, get asked in the interview. So we know that in real time we don't get a small set of data. It's always a high volume. So how the MDM handles such high volume of data? And here is the explanation. More often than not, the MDM handled the master data management load job experiences a large cluster of the data for multiple updates to particular high continuity record. What does this large cluster mean? Large cluster means suppose if we have the uh, base object golden recorder as a one, but the cross reference contain 10,000 or million records that could possible. So I have seen this such kind of scenario where the one base object has a million XM. So updating or the loading such a record is again a a heading. So how it is handled in the MDM? In such scenario, MDM divide the block in such a way that all the updates to such a high cardinality records are run from the same log logical block. So, so I give the one example where the one base object has the one million suppose X web. At the same time, suppose we have the one base object has the ten uh, ten thousand base X web record, but have the 1 million as a child record. So we say it's a cardinality is high in that case. So how it is handled? So MDM actually form the uh, blocks which are run in logically blocks. So it divides the blocks in such a way that all the updates to such a record or such a high cardinality record run in parallel in logical block. This mechanism of resolving block conflict is used to ensure that when these blocks are persisted to the database, there is no database level deadlock on conflict. For this, MDM overrated the value of load block size to accommodate all the records related to the parent record in the one single block. So if you define the load block size as 10k and your cardinal is having the 1 lakh records or 1 million record, in that case, the MDM overrides the value of the load block size and loads the, all the data in single chunk. Some more details on the same point. To know how these blocks are divided, there is one table called as a LCT table, which is temporary table, of course. We can be created this table to see the record identifier and the block number allocated to this record. LCT table is temporary table that is created when load job is triggered. Of course, in order to check, uh, before checking this table, we have to make sure our load job is running. If load job is stopped, you will not have this table. The pulse is uh, actually, this pulse is for uh, duration of the job. It can only be queried when a job is being run. LCT table will be different from each job. Means if you are running a load job for the party multiple times, LCT table will be different. A table generated for one load job, one load job will not be same as a next job, even if you are running on the same record. If you observe a, a large number of records into one block, a high volume is suppose more than 500, this might imply that this part of the same cluster. In some cases, this cluster need to be inspected as this can become a real nuisance in daily job. As, this, as it introduces a long JVM delay or halt amongst other processing slowdown. So I do remember in one of my project where we found such more large cluster, we actually processed, uh, we actually skipped such large clusters processing and we keep those record in temporary table or another alternative table. And whenever we get a time for loading, we we process this record one at a time. So similar kind of implementation you guys can also implement in your project if you notice such a large clusters. How to disable smart search during the load job in MDM? So this is another uh, question. And if you remember the smart search, it is a feature in Informatica MDM 10. And we can disable this feature while loading the load job. How can you do that? In order to do that, we have to set value of cmx.ss.enable to first in cmx server 
and same explains properties file and then we have to restart the server then we have to drag it to c repos co underscore cs underscore config table which is part of the smart search so in order to disable smart search we have to follow this procedure procedure that means we have to have restart the server so if your job is done going on so your load job will get hung or we have to make it um, it fail so that we can allow this smart search are data sources used while running the batch jobs in MDF well, this is an interesting question because whenever you install informatic MDF in the application server the data sources will be created will this data sources get used whenever you run any load job or any uh, job in MDM? The answer is no. For batch job and search match API calls, JDBC connections are established. For every communication from master data management to database container, data sources are used. That means for batch jobs, data sources are never used. For batch jobs, the JDBC connection get created. However, if you want to communicate from informatic MDM hub to database, then the, the data sources will be used. What is stored in SSA data column in the SDRP table in MDM? I, I think you might know this answer to this question, but I'm still kept in this slide because I have not covered this before. In MDM, data from the match column configured in the match and merge setup are concatenated together. That means, suppose we have the display name as one of the match column and address line one as one of the column. Then the data for the display name and the address line one is concatenated and it is saved in the SSA data column in the strip table. So strip table has a column called SSA key and SSA data. SSA key contains the key for key generated for that record and SSA data contains the actual data which resides in the match column for that particular mix object. Next, next question, why is the create date in the base object greater than the create date in Excel? Normally, in normal scenario, we know that uh, the record first inserted in the Excel and then it will insert it in the base object. That means create date in Excel should be greater than create date in the base object. However, there are some scenarios where the create date is greater than create date in the base object is greater than create date in Excel. So let's have a look. Uh, assume that a base object has multiple x rays so from the source 1 and source 2 with S, uh, source 1 record being the root node that means it is golden record the golden record we got is from the source 1 when S1 record is deleted a new base object record is get, created from the S2 that is totally true created of new base object record will be displayed today's date when that record delete has happened so that means if you delete the record from the base object the new record which got made will have the create date as a new date that is today's date this does not reflect original create date of an x y so it will not change the create date in the x y it will just change the create date in the base object so that is the reason the create date in the base object is greater than create date in the x y what is difference between merge package and display package in the merge manager? So you have seen these two packages in the merge manager. So what is the difference? In MDM, the merge package is used cell by cell comparison and contains columns only from a selected base object. So if you go to the result page of the merge manager, you will see two sections. At the top section, you will see what is the data content for that record. And at the below section, you will see the uh, cell by cell comparison. So, if you remember, we can edit those records uh, in the cell by cell comparison record and make some record we need. So, that's the reason we need the put packages for adding or updating any record in the given provided record in the merge manager. However, a display package is used to display the records in the top section of the merge manager. So, there is a top section where you can see the record. And this merge one, uh, this display package can contain multiple tables. So that means 
if you want to show a data steward a base object or the uh, party base object and the address data at the same record in the display level of the merge manager you can show that so that comes from the display package this package can be put package for the display package the query in the display package has a join with another base object it has columns from selected base object as well as other additional base objects so you have the privileges to show the more columns in the display level and the cell by cell comparison only for the given base object next question does informatic mdm reference the database server which uses an ip address anywhere in the configuration so that this is going miss if you want to know where the server names are used it is easy to you to replace this if you are migrating code from one environment to the other environment so this is the scenario we have captured while migrating the data master data management database from one server to another does mdm use the database ip address and the answer to this question is yes make the required configuration changes by adding the relevant option mdm references the database server in data source of the web browser app server or any other app server update host name ip address in the web browser console data source update host name ip address in the c repos underscore database table so there these are the locations where you have to update the ip addresses next question what is the maximum number of columns that can be handled by a base object in mdm 10.1 so normally our database structure or database model is normalized so in case um, we hardly get a uh, scenario where we get a huge number of record a huge number of columns in the base object but in worst case we should have the knowledge about the what is the limitation with the respect to number of columns in 10.1 uh, so far in the 10.1 base object cannot have more than 200 user defined columns if it has a match rules configured for automatic configuration in mdm so of course this columns also include the system generated columns too so these are the some interpretations i have come across recently and i thought i should share it with all of you uh, i hope you got a little more knowledge about the automatic mdm and it will help you to enhance or increase your knowledge base thank you for watching my video and have a nice time